everyone, it's Maura. Today I'm going to be doing my April favorites video, which is really exciting because um, over the course of April I've been kind of building up my makeup collection and I've been getting lots of like different, I think, nicer pieces of makeup. And um, so I've got a whole bunch of new stuff that I'm really excited to share with you guys. And I think I'm going to do a collective haul coming up pretty soon because I did get like quite a bit of makeup in this month that I haven't shared with you guys yet. So anyways, I'm really excited to go ahead and share with you guys my favorites. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you guys is my favorite scent. Now I've been wearing this absolutely like every day. It's kind of like my signature scent now and it is Bombshell by Victoria's Secret and this is just the splash and I like body splashes better I think because perfume can be kind of strong and um, this just smells so good and clean and I think that um, if anybody's looking for kind of a good scent everybody who I've asked thinks that this smells absolutely amazing and so definitely go pick one of these up. The next two things that are um, favorites of mine are hair products. So I've been using the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder um, Shampoo and this has really actually been helping. My roots have been lightening up and I think that this works really well. It does take time like it's not an immediate um, immediate results but it does work really well and this is the John Frieda Go Blonder controlled lightning spray so a um, shampoo and then a conditioner and I don't actually have the lighting conditioner because I only put conditioner here and I don't need this part to get blonder I need it up here to get blonder but this is the spray so I spray this all over like my crown and then I blow dry it and my hair does look um, pretty blonde okay so the next favorite thing is going to be a blush and this blush um, this one is Urban Decay's Afterglow in the color Score and it's an absolutely gorgeous color and Urban Decay was on hot look so I got a lot of stuff and this is the color it's really natural and I absolutely love it I'll do a swatch for you guys it's just really glowy and kind of peachy I don't know if you can see it that well but it works really well so and then the next favorite of mine is a lip gloss I like something that has a little bit more color just because I have so many sheer glosses so um, I discovered max cream sheen glass in the color right impression which looks here's right Oh no, Right Image. So it's in the color Right Image. It's like this really nice kind of pink. And it's almost a bit of a purpley pink, but not really. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, quality is amazing. And the color, let me show you guys the color. It comes out a really nice pink on your lips. Here's a swatch. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, it's right like there. But um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And so the next favorite of mine is a concealer. And... Um, I probably should have done some more research on this before I showed it to you guys in my favorites video, but I've been using it absolutely every day and um, it works really well. And it's just a stick um, concealer from CoverGirl and it looks like a lipstick when you first get it and it just looks like this. I don't have the top right now, but it comes with like a pointed top and everything. And I'm in the color 705 Fair and look at how much I've used. That's crazy. I've used, that's all the way rolled up. Well, I didn't like use the whole thing this month, but I really do like that. And then my favorite nail polish of the month. This is just Sinful Colors um, in the color Great Wall. And um, it's this really just gorgeous, um, deep, it's a deep coral, I would describe it. And coral is extremely popular for the springtime, as you guys know. And this is just kind of a deeper shade of it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So um, I love that. And so now I'm excited to tell you guys, oh, I have two more beauty products. So uh, this is my favorite kind of eyeshadows for the month, and um, it's the ELF Beauty Brook Bright Eye Edition. Um, I don't know if you guys watch X Tina. If you don't, you definitely should. She's really, really nice, and well, I haven't like met her or anything, but she has a great personality, and she's really good at what she does. And she just did a whole prom tutorial using this book, which I think was five dollars, and. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out, but it's really great for anybody, like for anything. And it comes with all these colors, extremely pigmented. I mean, look at this, ready? Yeah, that's pigmentation right there. So look at all that. All those gorgeous colors that comes with this color right here. Um, this deep kind of champagne color is actually a really, really good dupe for Woodwinked by MAC. So, and it doesn't just come with that. It also comes with a mini black eyeliner and these eyeliners are pretty fair quality. Here's just like one little line. Those are both it, but um, you see they go on with one line, ready? 
so they go on pretty nicely and it also comes with an applicator but, and it also gives a whole detailing on how to apply the makeup onto your eye so um, this I think you should definitely get because they have just about every color that you're gonna need for a tutorial and all the shadows are really high quality so um, this is my last favorite beauty product and this is the Paul Mitchell Express Style Hot Off The Press um, Heat Protectant. Really, really been enjoying this one, I think because of the um, aerosol, is it aerosol? Aerosol like sprayer, so because I really think you can get your whole head. Whereas with just like the, like the you know, like the squirter bottle ones, it only kind of, I don't know, I just don't like them at all. I think that they just kind of sit on your hair, or, like they soak up, but they don't get like the full sections. I mean, Maddie really likes it, but I don't like that kind. I like the aerosol ones, and this one's from Paul Mitchell. This um, you can just get this at salons and stuff. So next is um, my favorite way I've been wearing my hair all the time is I'll straighten it, um, but I won't straighten the whole thing. I'll just like straighten the kind of crazy wavy bits, and then I'll put it into a fun ponytail. Um, one of my next videos that's gonna be coming out is 12 different ways to rock a ponytail, and I've been loving wearing a ponytail because it's starting to get hot, and you know you don't want all your hair down and everything. One of my absolute favorite ways to wear a ponytail is with ribbon. Now look at all this ribbon. All this ribbon was just recently sent to me. I mean today I went to my mill and I got it, and it was from my mom's friend Anne, and she gave me all this ribbon. And I am so excited to be using it because all of it is just so gorgeous. I mean, look at all this. That's a ton of ribbon. It's a ton of ribbon. So um, thank you, Anne, if you're watching this because I'm really excited about that. So um, now, my favorite brand of the month. Um, this is an absolute, like, hands-down favorite for me. I didn't even have to think about it. My all-time favorite brand right now is Betsy Johnson. These are my absolute favorite sunglasses ever. The whole time I was on spring break, I don't think, I got a sunglasses tan because I never took these off. I took about four pairs of sunglasses with me, I think, but I was wearing these every single day. I didn't even, there was no need for me to even have brought the other ones because I was always wearing these. And they're kind of like Wayfarers from Ray-Bans and they look like this, but they have pink detailing on the side with gold Betsy Johnson. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They're really nicely made and they're really high quality. And I love the pink detailing on the side because pink is my favorite color. And they fit nicely and they don't fall off. And I don't know, they're just amazing. Uh, using almost every day is a Betsy Johnson Betsyville bag and this one is clear and it just looks like this it says Betsyville and um, it has like detailing here and it says Betsy Johnson on the side and it actually came with this yellow kind of checkered print and I did not like that um I thought that the print was kind of ugly not that if you like the print but I don't know I just didn't really like it and it came all over the bag but I just ripped it out and used it as a clear bag and I've been using this as my lacrosse bag and it's absolutely gorgeous and it works really well and I like it because it's clear and I can like see everything that I need to get really quickly if I'm like coming off going on need a water bottle need a mouth guard um so I think that oh now I'm going to tell you guys my favorite food because I've been doing that in my last few favorites videos um I remember like last time I was veggie burgers and which I still eat like all the time I eat like three of them a week or something but I have kind of a junkier food item and it is those like vanilla Oreos where they're vanilla on the outside and then they're vanilla on the inside and I can't even express to you guys how amazing they are I ate like three of them today they're so good and then um I actually like them better than the normal Oreos so I don't I, I wish I had like the packet to hold up with you guys but I don't have them with me so but they're just golden Oreos so you should go and get them because they are amazing so anyways I think that I'm going to be doing a haul video soon and look forward to my 12 different ways to rock a ponytail and thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later